The NFL on EA Sports is in the great state of Tennessee you got a mic? at Nissan Stadium here in Nashville. The whole of downtown Nashville likely still reverberating with the sounds of the Titans taking you got a mic? field a moment ago. They're ready for football as their Titans are set to match up with the Los Angeles Rams. A lot has changed since these two met in Super Bowl 34, and off we go between the Rams and Titans. And we will not see a run back on the opening kickoff. This will be a touchback. Big Bean, you got a mic? On first and ten, Stafford. They'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. A big play that time on the catch and run. That's some early fireworks on the first play from scrimmage. The last fireworks I saw, July 4th, okay? Here they are celebrating the start of this game the exact same way. Explosive right out of the gate. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to the linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. The impressive opening drive continues and just space being created by those guys up front. We're seeing this the same way, aren't we? We are seeing an offensive line as this game gets started, as it starts to unfold, that they are dominating the line of scrimmage. And the Rams are going to be set up with a first and goal. He couldn't quite reach the chalk, but they'll have it at the one-yard line. Akers. And no signal yet. I don't think he got in. He didn't. They'll mark him at the one. They'll look to run with Akers. And he takes it across for a Rams touchdown. Cam Akers taking it in from a yard out. And the Rams take it right down and score on the opening drive. Stafford's going to try and throw for it. And that is going to be caught. And it moves the lead to 8-0. Looky here, a touchdown, a two-point conversion, and now an onside kick. And the Titans are going to recover the football. So an onside kick fail in the first quarter. Not sure I completely see the logic there. It's not apparent, is it? You almost have to go deeper, I think, and maybe... If we try and work along with them and, and speculate a little bit here, they must feel like they need to steal possessions in this game. And maybe they don't match up possession for possession with the opposite team. They've got to steal it and try and gain an advantage. And they tried. They just didn't get it done. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. And he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. They're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. Throwing again on second down, Tannehill. Finding room to the 20. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. So they gave up the early touchdown. This has been a pretty good response. Nice drive taking it down first and goal. And I know all the cliches jump in, right? Don't get away from your game plan too early. Make sure you're settled down. Don't panic. But it's all true, isn't it? Because otherwise, you get out of what you plan to do during the game, and it's still early. Don't get crazy because you gave one up. Just respond as you just noted. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second in goal. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. 
And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. Four yards there on the keeper, but still going to bring up a third down. to the end of the first quarter of play. And no hesitation about this decision here. Confidently, they're going to go for this. Fourth and goal from the three. They snap it to Tannehill. Golly. went away after the touchdown. And he'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. He's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back, and it can turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. And yeah, boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a footer so short. So in their own territory, but they only need a few inches. So they're going to opt to go for this thing. We'll see. Maybe a surprise pass or run. What will they do? We're about to find out. Fourth down. Flush to his right. A hit as he throws, and this is going to be incomplete. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out, and that will force a turnover on downs. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Out of the gun, Tannehill. That's complete to his tight end, Ferkser. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Tannehill going to turn and give this to Henry. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. A 
reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. Meanwhile, Tannehill's throw here into the hands of Jones. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. Now a first down throw, Tannehill. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Here's second and ten. Here's Tannehill. Oh, that's in a double coverage and intercepted. Picked off by the safety, Eric Weddle. Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points no matter what. At worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. After the interception, here's Stanford. And he's going to go down. Back in his own five-yard line, it's a sack. a run with Akers on second down. And a short gain here as he gets it up only to about the six. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Well, Stafford. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. Gets it to the 30 when it's all said and done. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now Stafford. A quick pass to Cup. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. Two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and 10. Now it's Stafford. They'll set up the screen here to Akers. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. The Rams going to be forced to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Stafford looks to throw again. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. On first down, Stafford here. And this one is incomplete. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far. But on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. And Gay knocks this one through. And the lead now five, 11 to six. So a nice kick there as they add three to the lead. And from what I've seen so far, Brandon, I think they've been the better of the two teams here in the first half. So even though you want the touchdown, I think that's a nice job there to put three points on the board. Well, they just scored, they got the lead, and they decide to keep their foot on the accelerator, so to speak. Scouting, scouting, scouting. They had to have seen something in their preparation for this game that told them in this situation, if they get the look they like, let's go ahead and go for it anyway. They like being bold. He completes it to Beckham, and he takes his just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. A big connection on that one. 30 yards. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. He hit his first, this one from 40 yards out. Gay's kick is good. And that'll make this an eight-point game at 14 to six. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. A fairly short kick from the 14. 
And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The final shot here before the break. Tannehill escaping the pressure right. Now on the run, he'll throw it back deep over the middle. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. The Titans going to get the ball to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back to it on EA Sports. Cameron Batson now from his end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. That would almost intercept it, but it's incomplete. Not a good throw there, and it'll be second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Here's Tannehill. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off at the 36, and he brings it back. You're garbage. Right around the 26-yard line. Too easy. Cam Akers. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Rams use the short field of their advantage as they cash in for six. They'll look to throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Tough there. Good pass. Hit the hands. He just couldn't bring it in. And every receiver's coach everywhere. Seeing that play. Focus, focus, focus. Watch it all the way in and tuck it away. The risk reward of the onside kick. When you don't get it, the risk comes out to play. And here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them. And field position leads you to that type of play calling. And whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep, those types of things, now that they've given up that type of field position, the advantage has switched to their opponent. Being chased out left. And Tannehill's got the first as he slides to a hole. Looks to me, partner, like he's learned a little bit because earlier in the game, I think he was trying to force a lot of throws into his windows that just weren't open. Yeah, the interceptions had plagued him, especially a second interception, really a bad throw. So maybe a better decision there. Yeah, no doubt about it. I think he learned from earlier in the game, and he's applying it now. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Second 10 coming up here in Nashville. Third quarter action. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. Flushed out right. It's Rodgers here with a grab. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. He was out there waving his arms. And when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is because you got to get his attention because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. Well, they certainly did a nice job there picking him up out of the backfield and then running stride for stride with him. That's good coverage, and it led to an incompletion. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Tannehill now to throw. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. Trash can. Second straight drive now here, 
Charles said have ended with an hit. 